A quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes and no questions except one. Deal or no deal? They're going completely mad. Yes, welcome. It is a very important week for you because it is our final week before we take a little bit of a summer break. And we are offering you the chance to win up to £10,000 every single day this week. So well worth a phone call, I would have thought. And it's a Monday where we look back on an incredible week last week, a week of real contrast. On Friday, it was poor Sally who went away with 1P. And then on Saturday night, Buddy really showed how to play this game. He got the respect of the banker big time. He might have dealt at £16,000, but really, you're only ever going to sit here once. Are you just here for £16,000? But he wasn't. He went all the way to £50,000, and he only had three grand in his box. Played it perfectly. But the decision is yours. 22 <laughs> identical sealed boxes. 11 in the West Wing, 11 in the East Wing. And those 22 tantalising sums of money. Yes, now we have five members of the 1P club. Four guys and a girl. We do not have a quarter of a millionaire yet. So wouldn't it be great in our final week before we break if we do it? Let's do it on Monday. Here are the players. Emmy has joined us. Who is about to leave us? It's Connell. Come on. The moment has arrived, Connell. Please join me. Come on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to Connell's Game. Thank you. How are you feeling? A bit relaxed. Yeah. All right, not too bad. 24 shows. You must have known that you were in the zone. Yeah. I knew it was coming up to it. Bit of a feeling. You've been dreaming about it, yeah? Oh, always, yeah. <laughs> always dreaming about it, yeah. Tell me about Connell. Connell's 33. Uh, married to my wife, lovely Tracy out there. Hello, Tracy. Welcome. Hello. <coughs> Wish you good fortune. I've got four beautiful girls. Do you have a look? Hence, I've got no hair. <laughs> I've got four beautiful girls and, uh... <laughs> well, I did have a haircut. Any, any chance of sharing a bit? That's my oldest one here. That's Abby. She's 15. As we go down, we've got Farah, who's nine. Caitlin, who's five. And then Hope, who's our two-year-old. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. I've got a couple of pictures as well that was, I was giving before I came away as well. <laughs> no pressure, then? No not... pressure at all, but get us to Disneyland, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. So this is from Farrah. She, she drew me something, get us to Disneyland. And then uh, <clears throat> my five-year-old, she, she couldn't really spell it. So it was get us to Famada, really. Daddy, I love you. And then beat the banker on the top of it. So well, that was from the mum law She was just, just trying to cream in, basically. <laughs> OK, I think we're there, probably. Yep. You happy to go? Oh, I am, I'm ready. Jolly good. I need you to <coughs> confirm that before this show started, you chose box 22 at random. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of these boxes. And is the only person who knows where the money is up until this moment, and that's where we're now going. We're going to go and try and find the smaller numbers first. Connell, have a great game. Good luck. Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, 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 Go for Maddie, number 17, Noel, please. <laughs> How did I know you were coming over here? 
Get us underway, Maddie. Thank you. Good luck, Carla. Thank you. <coughs> East winger Helen, please, number one. Thank you, Helen. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> number five, Carney, please. All right, Carney? Yeah. Great shirts. Thank you. You tried really hard. Thank you. It's appreciated. <laughs> oh, he's got great, great fashion sense. Thank you. Good luck. No, no, no. No, hundred thousand. With three, please, Sandra. One changing for me. Oh, you've got a red fetish, haven't you? It's very, very rare to have an all red round. But an opener. Debbie, number 15, please. Thank you, Debbie. Can we break this, please? Yeah. Please. Good luck. I'm gonna miss you. Cheers, Debbie. Yeah! <laughs> A lot of mumbling about Buddy there. Uh, Buddy, first box, quarter mil went. Yep. Still went away with 50,000. You gotta hope the quarter mil stays there. Oh, what's he gonna do now? Oh, it's not going to be a good offer. He's going to be laughing. Yeah. He's laughing his head off. He's a happy bunny, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. What are you thinking? I'm thinking at the minute I'm in trouble. I've got to get out of it quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yes, I'm very good. This is going to be a cracking week. We are determined to give you the most unpleasant summer holiday you've ever had. You're going to be so short of cash. He thinks he's earned a break. Risking thousands and thousands of pounds every single day for all these people who are so ungrateful. And the offer. Thank you. £6,600. <laughs> He wants you out. He, wa he, wa he wants you to go. I think that's a good offer. I'm, I'm quite shocked. Yes. Yeah. So Instead of what I've just done to that board. <laughs> yeah, I'm rather surprised. 6,600. Good opening. 6,600. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> Um, number 11, please, Steph. Away you go, Steph. He wants this one. Box 11. Your team playing red, but I'm hoping this Come is on, blue. Come on, Steph. Yeah! <laughs> 21, please, no. Sure. Chris? Chris? Yeah, 21. I'm gonna miss you, darling. I'm gonna miss rubbing that head. I miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> Beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I rub his head and kiss his head every day. <laughs> Tracy's here. I know Tracy's here. She knows I do it. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck, darling. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Chris, yeah. you To that last one, Sarah, please, number 13. Hold it! Right there! Chris! Come here! <laughs> <laughs> this will be... This will be... Shut up! This will be her last opportunity to rub Connell's head for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I go. 
It's got lipstick, lipstick on it now. Lipstick on it now. <laughs> Please. Sorry if that's offended the children. We'll see you right after the break. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maddie from the East Wing. These three boxes contain one thousand, two thousand, and ten thousand pounds. At the end of today's show, one box will be opened and you could win what's inside. To enter, just call 09013 600 400 or enter for free at channel4.com forward slash deal. Good luck, everybody. Calls cost £1 with BT. Successful callers will be asked to leave their contact details. Not all calls will be successful, but all calls will be charged. He didn't have any kind of identification on him, nothing. Childhood. I don't remember anything past last Thursday. Connell's had his head rubbed. So everything's right in the world, and it'll be particularly good in the world if, Sarah, you open box 13 and reveal a nice low number. A blue would be tickety-boo. Good luck, Connell. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so what do you do in your house when you're outnumbered by all these females? I do a bit of football coaching for Compton City Ladies, which is my oldest place for. Oh, really? Yeah, so um, I do a bit of that in spare time. Did you play football yourself? I did, yeah. I was at Northampton Town as a kid, but I done my crucial ligament. And probably about 16, 17 years ago, it was a bigger injury than it is today. Um, so it basically forced me out of the game and had to play semi-pro, which is not a bad thing. Who's your team? Lots Forest. <laughs> 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 Lots of good Forest, yeah. They were a good team once, and uh, I, can't, I can't stop supporting them. I blame them on my dad, but there you go. Right. He's not that keen on football. That's just money, man, isn't he? Yeah. You describe yourself as quite adventurous. As an example of this is often the choice of clothes that he wears. Well, I notice what you've got written on the back here. Yeah. Courage. Before I come here, my daughter actually bought it for me and said, I hope you wear it on your show. So. Happy coincidence. Happy coincidence. <coughs> Hello. Ah. Does it go all the way through to the front? That is the question. Mm. OK. Of course, he was, I said he's not interested in the football. Yeah. So he was just thinking of Nottingham, the forest. Yeah. And he's not going to allow one particular outlaw. <laughs> to steal from the rich and give to the poor. <laughs> yeah. However, okay. it's a bit of, a bit of the old uh, fashion from the period. He said, I'm going to double it. 13,200. Second one. <laughs> yep, he's taking it very seriously. Lance, uh, Saturday evening with Buddy's game, we were in similar territory and you said, take the cash. If anyone asks me for fin uh, financial advice, uh, they might as well ask a chimpanzee, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so ignore me, Connell. Cheers for that, Lance. <laughs> 30,200. Oh. Yeah, can I speak? Yeah, yeah, I think so. can, can yeah. But it's good. Yeah, that's that a very good, good offer. And real money. 13,200 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal, no. Go on, Thank you. If you could pull out a blue round now, not touch any of those big numbers, you would be in a very, very strong position. Kira, number 19, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
load of groans from there and a lone voice over here yeah, going... It's not too bad. It's all right. It's not too bad. Big nerf number 18, please. I've had some big ones. It's all right. Let's go with it. Don't we know it? You can't have it two games in a row, surely. I hope not. Yeah. Yeah. Lindsay, number 20, please. We're going to miss you so much, Connell. You've been great fun to be with. He's going to remember you. 75,000. It sort of looks a bit different now. Yeah. I've still got the big one up there. Still 20. got a buddy's song up there, 50,000. Yeah, 20 and 75,000 yeah. in one go. Oof, oof, oof. I think 13,200 was good. It's a good offer, yeah. It was a good offer. I think, good we, offer. To, I think we have to brace ourselves for the fact yeah. that we're not going to be in that territory. Yeah. Little knockdown. A big knockdown. Maddie? Okay. Still good. Still good. <laughs> We've waited all that time. <laughs> Me. For you to say two words, still good, still good. I can think of two words. That <laughs> 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 told me. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Mm, don't do that one. Don't play that card. Don't. No, don't. 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 He's playing the um, emotional card and saying how much pleasure it gives him to see your game go that way, particularly in view of the fact there is the lovely message from your daughter with her hope to go to a theme park holiday at the top. And he is now offering you four and a half thousand pounds <clears throat> Wait for it. <laughs> for each daughter. You, sir, are doing something right. You're at 18,000 And he's personalised it to your four beautiful daughters. Four and a half thousand pounds each, and nothing for you two. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Shall I bring him back and see if I can get four and a half for you? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh oh, it's a tricky one, this. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> he said, I'll throw in an extra £4.50. <laughs> 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 I've got to write this down, I won't be able to remember. <laughs> 18000 and £4.50, we've never had that before. <laughs> Actually, seriously, this is tricky. Help, guys. Help. Connell, just cast your mind back. Sally was in a very, very similar position, and she got an almost identical offer. She took the gamble, and she went home with a penny. If that 250 goes, you're heading the same way. I know, yeah. <clears throat> Think of those kids.
Okay, no. Okay, no. Eighteen thousand and four pounds fifty. <laughs> deal or no deal? No deal. Giorgio, not 35,000, not 50,000, not a quarter of a million, per favor. Understood. <laughs> Big Mark, number 16, please, now. OK. Best of luck, Matt. Cheers, mate. <laughs> 14, please. Emmy, absolutely vital that we do not reveal the quarter of a million. It's been in 22 on a number of occasions. Is it possible it's there again? Do come back right after this break. Hi, Maddie here again. You can still win the contents of one of these three boxes. That's 1,000, 2,000, or 10,000 pounds. Welcome back to Connell's game. In some respects, in some respects, if we're really going to go for the big money, it is now a one-box game. Yeah. But you've still got some very sensible money there to fall back on. Let's focus forward. OK, Emmy. No. It's 35,000. And now we do have an all or peanuts game. Oh, crumbs. What are you thinking, Trace? It's going to go all the way now. Yeah? Yeah. It's beginning to feel like that. What's this going to do? Hello. Oh, that is dirty. He said, quote, he's just cost two of his daughters their money, £9,000. Still good after not that pounds. And no reference to your four pound fifty. Okay. <laughs> it's just... on the end, really, should you? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. We can leave two kids at home, can we? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just go for it and if we end up with maybe the five grand, just us all go. Can you see? You said if it got to this scenario, you were going all the way. Yeah, but he was over there then. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get there, everything in I was life over changes. Over there and at home. Yeah, everything changes when you sit in the most frightening chair in television. Okay, no. These ain't going anywhere. I ain't going anywhere. The money might. Yeah, please, yeah. £9,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Now we are going to believe we will not touch the quarter million. Mark, will you go and sit in front of the quarter million, please? <laughs> It doesn't exist. For this round, it does not exist. <laughs> you cannot possibly <coughs> hit it. 
There we go. Let's go with Nick. OK, we have no fear, Nick. You have nothing to worry about because it does not exist. Let's hope it's the penny. Sorry, we tried. Sorry, big man. No worries, no worries, mate. Now we have a completely different scenario where we have to adjust our aspirations. <clears throat> Let's get you £10,000. Number eight, please. Number eight, Paul. Paul, we want to see the 1P. Yeah. 50 of blue. Try and find the one P, Connell. Number two, please. John. John, we want you to have the one P, please. I hope so, mate. Unlucky, but good luck with the rest of it. Oh, dear me, the 5,000. A disastrous round. And coming up is a very, very difficult decision, or possibly the easiest of the game so far. Hello. Nine hundred pounds. Can I ask me a question now? Sure. Yeah. Nine hundred pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Right? Same energy applies. Come on, let's believe that you have got £10,000 in that box by now finding 1p, 10p and £10. Come on, Connell, believe. Number 10, Lance. Yeah, come on, Lance. We want to find that 1p. Good luck, Connell. Yeah! yeah. yeah. 10p is gone. <laughs> oh, is number six. Otis, we want to find the one P, but you've got two other blues as well. Away you go. Yes! yes! <laughs> and we will raise the roof if we can find the one P. Oh. Number nine, please, Sharon. Sharon, reveal the one P in box nine. Good luck. Well, what a game you've given us. Ten thousand pounds, or another member of the One P Club. <laughs> or something in between. You've got the problem that you said if you got to that scenario, you'd go all the way to the end. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> Hello. Nice, I'll pass that on. He, he says you proved that the slogan on your shirt is not just a, an accessory. Thank you. A, a fashion statement. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he apologises for the dirty tactics earlier in That's the quite previous right. round. <sighs> Mock. Torture. He so much wants to recognise your courage, but he's grappling with this feeling inside him that just takes over when the one P is here, and he just wants you to go away with it because it gives him so much pleasure. <coughs> Two thousand pounds. <clears throat> he wants you to take the gamble because he believes you'll go away with one P. What box is left? I know. 
Do these boxes have a significance in any way? Just one. Others? Just one. Can you share it? Number seven. There was three left, to be honest. There was three, uh, seven, nine, and I had ten. I've always played in them shirts, whatever team I was in. And we've always, and I've kept seven to the end. Yeah, go on. Two thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> He thinks that your name is already on the back of your football shirt. <laughs> Thanks. Connell and Courage are indistinguishable. And he's offering you the swap. away from you. <coughs> Adam, would you pick up box seven, please? And this is your lucky number because this is the football number that's been good for you in the past on your shirt. And I hope I have now placed £10,000 there. Friday, last week, we had the fifth member of the 1P club. Is it possible that just two games later we're going to do it again? I don't think so. I think I'm going to reveal that the consolation here is a very respectable £10,000. Oh. He gave it away. Hey, cheer up, cheer up, come on, cheer up. I'm sorry. This is unbelievable. Those four in the 1P club were alone for so long, and then Friday night, they get another member, and then on the Monday, they get another one. This is absolutely extraordinary. Uh, Adam, will you please open box 22 and complete this far from satisfactory game? The 10,000 is over there. Oh, Connell, don't know what to say. Don't know what to say. It's all right, mate. It's all right. You tried with failed. No, I'm really disappointed for the two of you. You're in the Hall of Fame. Am I? You've got to be there. All, mem much. all members of the 1P club will be remembered. <laughs> you can name them all. <laughs> Thanks. Nick and Trevor, Fadil, David, Sally sorry. Sorry. and Connell. I'm so sorry. Thanks, so Tom. sorry. Thank you. Connell, Cheers. 1P. Yeah. Not a good feeling, not a good feeling. And a terrible way to start the week. <sighs> and now... Somebody watching this show could actually win the sum of money that just eluded Connell's grasp right at the very end. Would you please tell me your name? Kevin. Kevin. I just need you to say box one, two or three, please, Kevin. Two. Thank you. Where is the big money? Is it in box number two, the one selected by Kevin? Would you please open the box? No, it's 2,000. Would you please reveal the other two, ladies? 10,000 here, 1,000 there. The 2,000 is in the mid middle. Not a good feeling. Not a good feeling at the beginning of a week that we really wanted to be big for these players. It's our final week of our very first deal or no deal season. There'll be another £10,000 available for you tomorrow, but we now have the sixth member of the 1P. 
America is rampant. Are we going to have a fabulous twist to this first season? Could we still create our first quarter millionaire? You wouldn't want to miss it. I hope you'll be with me tomorrow afternoon. Bye-bye. Our treatment at the Carrefour.